stretch out a rifle and a caliber. We're here hunting mule deer in the panhandle of Texas. It's a little later, a little after season is closed, but we're hunting under the uh, Texas Parks and Wildlife MLD program. So we're going to be taking uh, a buck and potentially a doe. Now generally doe aren't taken, but because they're right here on the front line of the CWD zone, the Texas Parks and Wildlife has given a special permission to take a doe so that they can check for CWD and how it may or be moving in or out of the state of Texas. This is also the perfect part of the world to try out this new Heim precision rifle, the carbon carbon we call it. Carbon fiber stock, carbon fiber barrel, and on top of this, this is the new Trigicon 10 model, which was just released a few days ago at the Dallas Safari Club show. This in 300 wind mag should just be the, the perfect uh, combination for a mule deer out here in this open part of the world. at this for about 10 minutes. We started to kind of work the wind up here as the sun's getting ready to set. And we've just seen a nice buck. Um, part of this MLD program, of course, is to concentrate on older, more mature bucks. But even with that, we want to try and find as old a buck as we can with the, with the best antlers that we can. We'll kind of see him. Yeah. We're off to a pretty good start. We've just started kind of a walk upwind. Probably covered three quarters of a mile here. We've seen three bucks. Now these are bucks that were down in these little topographical undulations. We couldn't see them even from our glassing point, but just goes to show you got to get out and poke around a bit. You know, being in, with the MLD part aspect of it, we owe it to them to, to look and see and pick Absolutely. out the oldest one. Absolutely, let's do it. And do, go that route. Yeah, let's do it. It's just about 30 minutes after sunrise. It's a nice, crisp, cool morning. It's about 19 degrees here. The wind hasn't really picked up yet, and we've just spotted some mule deer, some doe, and a couple of bucks right over this hill. So we're gonna peek over the hill and see if this might be something we want. Again, one of the younger, one not necessarily looking for. 
Again, in this topography, there's so many ups and downs and the line glaciers that they just they sit in one area of the line and just kind of sit there and materialize. So you can do a lot of walking with your binoculars here. Here's another one. bed back down. Old enough dough for you? been a lot of fun. We've covered a lot of ground this morning. I'm amazed at how well they, they can hold up. I mean, as, as you noticed when we came upon them, we didn't see them, but we just caught a little bit of the glint of the, of the white throat patch coming up out of the brush. You saw it on the, on the first doe. And uh, once we had them figured out, um, it was amazing to me that they were just sort of sunk right down in there. It's almost like they just disappear into the ground, don't they? Let's walk this way. Alright, that's not what you just said a minute ago. Yeah, but the one you said was most mature is the one that's facing away from you. But we saw a better back last night. More mad. Hold on, let's see if we get on that one tomorrow. And we've got day and a half long. just come into the, the top end of our property and we've driven past what we know is at least one buck, maybe the second one there. There's some does in the mix and we've come back here several hundred yards, gotten down into one of these little draws. We're going to make our way back up and see if we can't get a get better look at them, see if there's another shooter buck in here. That's the biggest one out there. You know, he's hit hard. He's went over the edge of the hill. Let's watch him. See if he gets up. <laughs> we just put in some miles for this. Today we've got this front coming in. You probably see it's been raining off and on a little bit. Even a little sleet mixed in here. So there's a little bit of pressure to get this done before the uh, before the rain or before the snow or the weather gets any worse or gets colder. But I think this morning it played to our advantage. It seemed to have had the deer move a little later, I guess, because that's when we pulled in and saw them. Um, probably get an hour or so after we had been seeing them. And although it was a quick judgment, I, I believe this is the best buck that we've seen so far. There he is. Come on. Keep down. Holy smokes. Well, this is officially the, I guess, the second animal. We shot a uh, 
mule deer doe yesterday with a new Heim uh, high precision carbon rifle and uh, that was taken on a special use permit through an MLD program here in Texas. We were obviously on to a buck as well and uh, right here this uh, last good morning we've had this cool front come in and uh, push some weather on top of us and just yeah we're grateful to have this guy so first official buck kill with the Heim carbon precision.